What will happen if I connect a smart socket into another smart socket? Hmm. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. And in my hands I have two Sonoff devices. They are a Wi-Fi smart sockets and there are two problems with these. First problem, they are European sockets and I'm in the UK. Which means they're not going to fit here into my extension lead without a special trick. Now, the second problem with these, these are not hacked. And that's what we're going to do. But first, let's solve the first problem. Now, kids really don't do it at home. I'm mad like that, so I'm just going to do it for the presentation purposes. But don't connect your EU appliances in UK my way. All right? Cheers. Not many people know this, but you can actually force a European plug into UK socket. All you need is something preferably not metal and not conductive to open the socket, like so and just push your plug in. Now this is not advisable and I'm doing it because I'm mad. How can you tell that these plugs are actually hacked? Well, it's very simple. I've got Amazon Dash button and this is not something that usually works with Sonoff. Uh, however, because I was able to flash Tasmota on it, all I have to do is just press the button and both's gonna turn on in a second, like this. Now, you can obviously use the buttons as well to disconnect them if you want. So if you want to plug them again, you can just press the button. It works as advertised with Node-RED server and I'm using MQTT to do it. So, that's the presentation done really. I'm sorry I couldn't have anything connected, but I was struggling to find any um, EU appliances to actually connect through these. Uh, so, that'll have to do for the showcase. The first thing that we need to do is pop three screws at the back of the smart plug and open the enclosure. Removing the components and popping out the motherboard gently reveals ESP attached on a separate PCB. There are a couple of pins exposed already including RXTX power and ground and also at the back we have another two GPUs, GPO05 and GPO04 which the access to it's a little bit blocked. Now at the bottom you'll see a couple of junctions as well connected and you'll find the power ground and GPO0 which is also needed. Now I'm going to remove the PCB itself because I want to have a clear access to uh, the board itself. Uh, however you can connect the wires directly to the junctions at the bottom. I marked on the schematics locations of the important pins and where uh, you can connect the best so if you don't want to remove the PCB you can do it this way. Working with the solder socket I removed excess solder from the PCB uh, to be able to remove the ESP board from the main board. Just be careful and do not overheat the parts because they can be easily removed if overheating. Once the solder is removed all you have to do is just pray up the ESP while wiggling it around uh, and it will pop out. Just be careful not to scratch the pads on the ESP board itself. The connections I'm going to use are RX and TX. Also the V for 3.3 voltage on this side. And on the other side of the board I'm just going to use GPO0 and ground uh, to connect to my serial adapter. There are a couple of more GPIOs available so if you want to connect any other devices uh, you can utilize these it's time to solder some wires and connect uh, the module to my serial adapter. The ESP is now ready to be connected to serial adapter, so let's go to the breadboard and connect it as follow. RX to TX, TX to RX, V to 3.3 volts, ground to ground, and GPIO 0 to ground 2 to enable the flash mode. Download the son of bin you want to flash, in this case just a plain son of uh, with UK language and uh, use ESP tool. If you don't know how to set up the environment, there is a tutorial link to this video as well. First, back up the firmware, then erase the flash and then lastly put the new flash onto the ESP8266. 
When the flashing is done, simply remove the GPIO0 cable from ground and restart the board. The board will go into access point mode and you'll be able to log into it, uh, connect it. The board will go into access uh, point and you'll be able to connect to it, log in and enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Once we know everything is working, you know exactly what to do. Reverse all of the steps and put the device together. Once the device is assembled, you can log into uh, the son of Tasmota software and set it up. What's left now is to connect to the device itself. Just find the IP on the network because it's going to be connected if you enter the Wi-Fi credentials and to configure the son of device. Now, I've used the son of basic configuration and it actually worked quite well. So, yeah, why not? And open the node red and connected it via MQTT. From there, it was just a pleasure to play with, as with any other son of products. Create a MQTT channel for status update and the MQTT channel for uh, toggling it on and off and link it to whatever setup you want. In my example, I've used Amazon Dash Button. I hope you're gonna enjoy your new hacked son of smart plug. So if you find yourself in need of using these plugs, these slum of smart plugs uh, outside of the scope of eWeeLink app, the only way is to hack it. Now, if you require some additional information or this video was a little bit too slow, there is a complete tutorial written uh, for you as well, which is linked in the description of this video. As usual with these things uh, online, you know how to use YouTube, you know how to subscribe and follow, etc. Uh, all the updates about new projects and new features, reviews, etc. Uh, go via my social media, so if you fancy follow me on that, do so. And uh, maybe a quick Instagram pitch. I've got Instagram, which is not enough tech, and I usually post them very short videos, like a couple of seconds, something that probably wouldn't make much sense to post on YouTube. So if you fancy those snippets, they're there. Also, extra content available for Patreon supporters. So thank you a lot, guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. With original software so when I press the button in here they're gonna switch uh, or they not because I removed that uh, they're gonna switch in a second to know more obviously everything is described in a description describe in the description really I'm, I'm doing terrible today oh god it's too early it's 11 o'clock and I, I slept for a couple of hours